Well, the Mr. Beast saga continues. We now have new information that adds more fuel to the story. Since this situation began, we now have Doc Pack 404, what a name, joining Salty Lady, who has made it her mission to bring down Mr. Beast since she was passed over in the game show she was on. You know, principal character syndrome. Their best is now, so much love in the air. They released a new video titled Mr. Beast Knew All Along, where they go through the entire situation. The Too Long Didn't Read version is pretty much about chat logs involving minors and content of a sexual nature, which is totally inappropriate. Hey guys, it's Ro. So, new update. I have received thousands of leaked messages from an official Mr. Beast work chat. These are all just their work chats from 2020 to about 2021 on Telegram. I verified the legitimacy of these chats with multiple former employees, and let me tell you, they are absolutely insane. Throughout the video, they exhibit overreactions and use emoji like responses to the accusations. You know, <gasps> the, <gasps> no! the incredible. <laughs> now, the allegations are serious and indicate recurrent behavior. According to the chats, Mr. Beast and his associates were pretty much all over this on a day-to-day -day basis. If this is true, and it seems likely, it suggests that such behavior is normal at Mr. Beast's place, which is a serious no-no. These people should be smacked upside the head. What the hell is wrong with you people? Salty Lady claims she has now reported them to the FBI. Today, I'm just going to focus on showing that Mr. Beast was very aware of Ava Tyson's online behavior and even encouraged and engaged in extremely inappropriate behavior himself. So in these chats, Jimmy is John, John Smith. Smith. Yeah. And as we go through these messages, I just want to remind everyone that Jimmy is in these chats. He's very active in these chats. But the situation blew up in their faces when they posted about it on Twitter. And those Twitter people started coming after them, you know, like a dog pack. She clearly has a personal agenda against Mr. Beast, no surprises there. And as for the dog pack person, they say he is one of them and is also withholding information. He then replied later in a post that he deleted the uncensored messages, which totally doesn't make any sense. If you see a crime and want to send that evidence to the police, you do that. Why in the world are you deleting the worst ones? It makes no sense. It's one thing to censor information you show on a platform, such as YouTube, but you send all the information you have to the proper authorities so they can act on it. It's like witnessing a crime and then deleting the most damaging evidence. Makes no sense. Now, the allegations are serious, and the Mr. Beast persona, it's clear that it's quite shady. The whole not caring about money narrative is clearly a lie. Anyone that doesn't see that doesn't have a functioning brain cell. He does care about money, just like you and everyone else. He just pretends he doesn't because he's playing a character. Not yet. You, I, you are way more rich than me. Uh, but I, I give my money away. I'm poor. One thing that really bothers me is that when you look at the dates of these chats, this is when Jimmy was already mainstream. This is when his videos are getting millions of views. He's claiming to be like really family friendly. He's working with a lot of creators like myself who had family friendly brands. And so just reading through these, that these chats are happening the same time is really disturbing. Some of Jimmy's videos from this time period have over 300 million views each and they're targeted at children and he's very aware of his child audience. This is his choice to hang out with people like this and talk this way in private while simultaneously creating content for children. The issue I have with these two individuals is that Salty Lady makes her intentions so clear that she's blinded by her desire to bring Mr. Beast down. And as a result, she and Doc Pack 404 start losing objectivity and credibility. It's literally everything Mr. Beast has done or been associated with which sounds and looks disingenuous. It's this case, then it's Lunchly, then it's about how he makes his videos, and on and on and on. If you have a solid bulletproof case, you don't need to take to a public platform like Twitter and make a ton of videos on YouTube just to justify yourself. It only makes you look weaker. You hand it over to the proper authorities as they are the ones who can handle this in their specific country. You make your case, provide a statement, even if it's on video, and get it over with. Let them take over. You don't need to keep at it and keep replying to comments. Just take your shot and get it done. Why? Because it's hard for people to comment on this situation when it's an official body, let's say like the FBI, is publicly taking over the case. And as of now, that is still not the case. 
It's also blatantly clear how other so-called unbiased commentators and self-proclaimed ethical journalists who investigate crypto scams have made little to no noise about Mr. Beast. Why? Because they have an agenda. You know, relationships, money, the bag. It's also interesting to see how Mr. Beast has gone silent. Initially, he was angry, suing, sending cease and desist letters and on and on. Then he realized that people on YouTube are very forgetful, as seen with the Dr. Respect guy and so many others. Unless a significant entity intervenes and makes it public, he will continue to do his we just put 500 people doing whatever in the next 7 days and keep banking on it at least for now. As for the authorities, is the FBI going to do anything? Is YouTube going to take any action? I don't know, only time will tell. I'm on my side, not anyone else's. What I do know is that Salty Lady and the other guy don't seem to get it. They already made it clear what they want. Attention and to bring him down above all else. Even if it means skimming over facts. By doing things this way, they are weakening their case by how they are presenting it. Even if what they have is true. There are better ways to handle this. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.